This is the book of Proverbs chapter 23 and verse 4. Labor not to be rich, cease from thine own wisdom. All praise, glory, and honor goes to Yahweh Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Waha Raka Quidash. Double honors to the men who taught me this truth, the apostles and elders of the great millstone. Also, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, Lord willing. This lesson will be edifying. This lesson is going to be centered around Proverbs 23 and verse 4. Labor not to be rich, cease from thine own wisdom. We all know that the not so mighty dollar bill is a defense in this world. But wisdom, the supreme knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the kingdom is also the ultimate defense living in this society or living in this world that we're living in. That's why the scripture tells us in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and verse 12, for wisdom is a defense and money is a defense. So we know that money is a defense because you need money to take care of yourself and your loved ones, such as paying your bills, so forth and so on. Just look up this word defense because wisdom also is a defense. Wisdom is that ultimate defense. The word wisdom in the Strong's H6738, it says shadow, shade as protection. All right. So we know that money is a shadow or shade as protection in this world such as, once again, feeding yourself, your family, paying your bills, so forth and so on. But wisdom is that defense or that shadow or shade as protection that shall lead to a kingdom, all right? Things are going to ramp up here upon the soils of America, such as the power outages, apparitions, a physical famine, which is a lack of bread and water, so forth and so on. All of that is going to lead up to the total destruction to America. And the money that you're heaping up right now or the riches of this world is not going to save you from all of those events. The only thing that's going to deliver you from all of those events is this supreme knowledge, wisdom, and understanding that we're gaining right now. That's why the scripture tells us in the book of Isaiah 33 and verse 6, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, is his treasure. So this is our treasure, the fear of the Lord. A treasure is something that is what? Worth of value, okay? Wisdom and knowledge is going to be the stability of the times to come here upon the soils of America and not money. That money that you're heaping up, the physical money, all right, it's going to crash. The dollar bill, the American not-so-mighty dollar bill is going to crash. So all of the money that you have heaped up or saved up, that's not going to deliver you from the times to come. Isaiah 33 and 6 again, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. So that's going to be the stability of the times to come, which is something that's going to hold you up. Stability is something that holds you up. Okay? It says, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. So that's going to be the strength of our salvation. That's how you're going to be saved through that supreme knowledge, wisdom, and understanding and not money. It says, the fear of the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, is his treasure. So going back to the book of Ecclesiastes 7 and 12 for wisdom is a defense and money is a defense which is a shadow or shade as protection but the excellency of knowledge is that wisdom giveth life to them that have it so kernel money is not going to give life okay the supreme knowledge wisdom and understanding of the kingdom that we're getting right now that is the excellency all right, that's going to lead to life. And that life is life eternal. 
in Yahweh Shah. All right, that's why the scripture tells us in the book of St. Matthew, chapter 6, starting at the 19th verse, it says, Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, all right, such as the not so mighty dollar bill, which is losing its value by the second. It says, where moth and rust do of corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. So you have racks upon racks, so to speak, in the bank, all right, or saved in a safe. A thief can break in your residence and steal that money, all right, or uh, the economy could crash, and all of your savings, all right, can crash with it. So that's why we shouldn't lay up for ourselves treasure upon earth. Verse 20 says, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust do of corrupt and where thieves do not break through nor steal. So if we continue to store up our treasures in heaven, starting with our good works in the sight of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, this is not going to be wiped away. Hebrews 6 and 10 tells us the most high is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love. And when you put forth work, you're looking for what? A payoff. Just like when you go to a colonel job here upon earth, you're looking for what? A paycheck. And we're working the greatest works upon the planet, which is being prophets of the Lord. Lord willing, we endure unto the end. We can what? Withdraw from that spiritual bank account that we're storing up in heaven right now. All right. So it says, verse 21, for where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. So we don't want our treasures to be this physical money. All right. Or any other treasures upon earth. We want our treasures to be the work that we're putting forth in the sight of Yahweh, Yahweh Shah. That's where our mind need to be at. The book of Proverbs chapter 16 and verse 16 tells us how much better is it to get wisdom than gold and to get understanding rather to be chosen than silver let's read that again how much better is it to get wisdom than gold so Gold is more precious than the not so mighty dollar bill, but the scripture is telling us wisdom is better to get than gold and to get understanding because understanding is going to be the bridge or the glue to men, wisdom and knowledge together. That gives you the capability to use the supreme wisdom and knowledge that we're gathering right now. That's understanding. So it says, and to get understanding rather to be chosen than silver. So that's what we want, all right? Because we have been called, but we want to be a part of the chosen, okay? Then to receive silver. The scripture tells us in the book of Proverbs 11, and verse four, it says, Riches profit not in the day of wrath. So in the day of wrath, gold, silver, and the not so mighty dollar bill is not going to profit you. It says, but righteousness delivereth from death. And this is a righteous act that we're putting forth, feeding the sheep, showing you how we shall that we love him. The most high is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love. So in the day of death, you're going to what? Find favor. Proverbs 11 and 4, riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivereth from death. That's why the book of Zephaniah, chapter 1, and verse 18 tells us, it says, neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of the Lord's Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai is wrath, but the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy, for he shall make even a speedy riddance 
of all them that dwell in the land. So silver and gold is not going to deliver you, all right, in the ultimate day of Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. And also those sequence of events leading up to the ultimate day of Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, silver and gold and the not so mighty dollar bill will not save you in that day. Only the supreme knowledge, wisdom, and understanding that we're receiving. This is Proverbs chapter 8 and verse 11. It says, For wisdom is better than rubies, and all the things that may be desired are not to be compared to it. So wisdom is should be our top desire. All right? The supreme wisdom and knowledge should be our top desires to continue in those things and not these kernel riches of the world, all right? Because that's what's going to lead to a kingdom. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 6, in verse 20, it says, Therefore, the desire of wisdom bringeth to a kingdom. If you, Salakia, if your delight be then in thrones and scepters, O ye kings of the people, honor wisdom that ye may reign forever. So that's what we need to honor. Supreme knowledge, wisdom, and understanding and not kernel riches. Okay? The scripture tells us in Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 15. She is more precious than rubies, that she is wisdom, which is what? Sophia. And all the things that thou canst desire are not to be compared unto her. Length of days is in her right hand, and in her left hand riches and honor. So this is the benefits of having supreme knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, and not the kernel riches of the world. Proverbs 3 and 16 again. Length of days is in her right hand and in her left hand riches and honor her ways are ways of pleasantness and all her paths are peace it says she is a tree of life to them that lay hold upon her and happy is everyone that retain of her and the happiness is going to come by deliverance all right and once lord willing we are part of that number yahweh shah delivers us we're going to flourish from there. Once that crown be placed upon our head, it's never going to be taken away. We're going to be perpetual rulers. And that's going to come through us desiring supreme knowledge, wisdom, and understanding and not the kernel riches of this world because that's real riches. Supreme knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. All right, we may not have the riches of this world, but we have the supreme riches, all right, which is knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. And that leads to a kingdom. All right. Proverbs 23. And verse four again, labor not to be rich. Cease from thine own wisdom. Will thou set thine eyes upon that which is not, which is carnal riches of the world for riches? And that's gold, silver, rubies. All right. The not so mighty dollar bill. Anything that you deem as riches upon this earth for riches certainly make themselves wings. They fly away as an eagle toward heaven, meaning this money or anything that you deem to be riches of this world, they're going to make themselves wings. Like the scripture says, they fly away as an eagle towards heaven, All right, meaning they're going to leave your possession. But supreme knowledge, wisdom, and understanding is going to be that stability, all right, and not the kernel riches of this world, such as gold, silver, rubies, and the not so mighty dollar bill. So that's why we want to invest our time in building up the riches of the kingdom or riches that shall lead to a kingdom such as knowledge, wisdom, and understanding and not these kernel riches of the world. So Lord willing, I pray that this made sense and that this was edifying Shalawan DTA.